Okay guys, let's discuss three UPS one. That and before that you need to study. Oh, this is only variable V. Okay. Bring negative three to the right, so that you get uh, V squared plus three. Plus of this is variable V. Everything in variable V just bring this term or this term to the left okay this term to the left v squared plus 3 uh, bring uh, dt to the right and then you need to integrate both sides okay v over v squared plus 3 here between this one is 1 okay 1 okay then to integrate this one, okay, first uh, direct integration, okay, and then uh, let's say take v, okay, let's say take v squared plus 3 as f, f, x or f, v, now we're using the variable v, okay, and uh, Differentiate v, I get two v. Then use the template uh, f prime v two v over f v v squared plus three dv. Okay, then is equal to ln v squared plus three plus c. Now we want a uh, half. Means that uh, four v over v squared plus three dv is equal to half. Eh? Half ln v squared plus 3 plus c. Okay. And then this side uh, get uh, integrate 1 plus t get t. Okay. Then join. Join. Okay. Join the two answers. Half ln v squared plus 3 uh, is equal to t plus c. Okay. And then... Uh, Try to simplify. Uh, ln v squared plus 3 times 2 to t plus c. Eh, c, this is 2c. Okay, c. Then get rid of ln v squared plus 3 is equal to e to the power 2t plus c. Uh, v squared uh, is equal to uh, e to squared dot ec minus 3. Uh, a a times e to t minus 3 v squared okay a is equal to e power c check check whether that one is same uh, the option given answer or not okay okay so the answer is this one okay, done by using Newton Repsom uh, method correct the three significant figures find the root of the equation near to 1.5 okay uh, first thing this one is in general form okay change to in function e x minus 4 sine x next step you need to differentiate f you get x e x minus 4 cos x okay and then you know this is a uh, newton method okay you need to follow the uh, formula formula is x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f x n over f prime x n okay and okay first Initial uh, value is x1 is equal to 1.5. Okay. x2 substitute 1.5 minus. Okay. Substitute everything. E power 1.5 minus 4 sine 1.5 over E 1.5 minus 4. Cos 1.5. Make sure, okay, 
change to uh, your calculator in uh, mode radian in radian mode okay okay because of that one is uh consider this is trigo okay then find answer the yeah, answer given answer you you get the answer is okay make sure uh if you k in in the calculator k in the correct one okay you look with the negative and the uh, fraction yeah, something bracket okay so uh three significant figures the answer is one point three eight three Okay, one, two, three. Three significant. You see, three significant figures. While calculating, you need to and check answer is one point three six five. One, two, three, four. Extra one. Check. Okay, this is one point three eight. This is one point three seven. Still you need to do iterate for the uh, next one point three six. Okay. After you get the same answer, okay, therefore, can conclude, therefore, the root is 1.3 si significant figures. Okay, the answer 1.36. Number 3. Number 3 is integrate okay 1 over 1 minus x okay minus this is 1 over x squared bring up okay dx okay, you can uh, get ln ln 1 minus x differentiate inside here get negative 1 minus x negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 over negative 1 plus c Simplify, simplify plus plus x power negative one or one minus x plus one over x plus c. Check answer. The answer is negative. This is not negative. Not negative. Negative one. Okay. Uh, this is not long. Okay, this is the one. The answer is uh, this part. Eh? Okay. Okay, so. Okay, number four. Um, the particular solution of the DE uh, for which Y1 at zero given by. Okay. This is dy dx equals y squared over e to the power 2x. Okay, this one in this pattern, dy dx is equal to gy over fx. This is gy. This one is fx. In this pattern, you need to separate the two variables. Okay. The pattern is like this. Okay. So your dy is equal to y squared. fx is equal to e to the power 2x. Okay. In this pattern, eh? in this pattern, is that 1 over gy. gy y squared. dy is equal to uh, 1 over fx. fx is equal to e power negative x dx okay and integrate bring up okay bring up so that positive 2x dx okay and integrate this one uh, not integrate yet just modify okay integrate y power negative 1 over 1 e to x over 2 plus c okay then simplify and given that uh y1 at 0 y1 at 0 substitute negative 1 
e power 0, 1. Therefore, c is equal to negative 3 over 2. Then here, you need to substitute in the, here, okay? Substitute. Negative 1 over y equals 1 over 2 e to x minus 3 over 2. Okay, you need to write y. Write y in terms of x. Neg uh, so, equate the denominator over 2. Then, cross multiply. That bring up negative 2. Okay, this one, this one down to x minus 3. It's equal to y. Or y is equal to um, 2 over 3 minus e to x. 2 over, this is y, eh? positive 2, 2. Okay, not that one. So no. 2, 3, or positive, not that one. 2, 3. This is the answer is this part. Okay. Next number. Okay. Number 5. Integrate 4 tangent theta over sine theta cos theta d theta. Okay. Before integrate directly, Okay, uh, better for you to check uh, either we can simplify or not. Tangent, okay. Tangent is equal to sine theta over cos. Okay, and then here is over sine theta cos theta. And rearrange sine theta over sine theta cos theta cos theta or cos theta squared then cancel get 1 over cos theta squared or we can say that this is equals second theta squared d theta okay integrate second squared uh, so, it's tangent, right? Tangent theta plus C. Tangent theta plus C. If you can remember, you can check the trick. Okay, got tangent, right? Okay, second, second, got tangent. This is the answer. Settle, eh? Right? Settle. Okay, here is using integration by parts. Okay, uh, using the L pad or lead. This is a polynomial algebra exponent. Consider U, D, V. Okay, U is equal to 3X. D, V is equal to E to X, D, X. Differentiate U respect to X. Get D, 3, D, X. Integrate V. Integrate over two. okay, and then use the formula u dv u v minus v du. Okay, your u is three x dv is e to x dx. So we do and check. Oh, this is the same right uh, question. U three x your v is e to x over two minus V is e to x over 2. Your d, u is equal to 3 dx. Okay. Arrange. 3 over 2. Integrate e to x, e to x copy over 2 plus c. Okay. And then, okay, simplify. Simplify plus C. Check answer. This is not the one. 3 over 2 X squared minus 3 over 4 X squared. Looks like this one. And double check. This is not the one. And this is 
or two here. No. Okay. okay. Integrate 2 minus x power 5 dx. Direct integrate. Direct integrate means that direct using the basic uh, rule of integration. 5 plus 1, 6 over 6 and differentiate inside the bracket plus C. The answer is negative 1 over 6, 2 minus x to the power 6 plus C. Check answer. The answer is okay. integral e to the power negative third x over third x dx. Okay, here cannot integrate directly. You need to substitution. Okay, let u. Okay, form exponent take all uh, take power. Or take all. Okay, just let's say we take the power. Okay, or you can adjust to negative x power half. Differentiate. Okay, differentiate. Negative x power negative half. Eh? Half. Okay, means that before that bring to half here. Okay, or direct negative 1 over 2 third x. From here, differentiate this term direct. You can write right here, okay? Negative 1 over 2 third x dx. Dx. Then, okay, we want this one right. Okay, means that ne two, negative 2 du, okay? Bring this one. To the left, okay, is equal to 1 over set x dx. Okay, here is equal to negative 2 du. Okay, and here is e to the power u. Okay, simplify. Integrate. Uh, EU get EU plus C. And then uh, substitute U is equal to negative set X plus C. Okay, negative 2. Negative, this is no negative. Answer is this one. Okay, settle. Huh? 